cortisone. That's yeah. like like cortisone shots, you know. To that's like steroid. That's like silicone in the cracks, you know, yeah. and filling in the gaskets. And uh, I think that's right? what fucked me up. And Leslie even agrees. She thinks that's exactly what happened. Oh God, I gotta tell you something about what I've got planned. But so. I gotta do this first. And and what I got planned is gonna blow your mind. I don't know if the old yucca bonnets can handle this. What's that? Running on fumes. Oh no. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, Slavo. Look, I I was best friends to the guy that invented it. Yeah. He died. Oh. All right, he shot himself. No, he that's why. Cause, killed himself. That's why, because he completely his invention didn't work. It worked. The thing he is, couldn't sell it. Sergey, the couldn't... only thing with you, you need things under pressure. You know, like just oh, like gasoline. Stop it. Yeah, stop yes, it. yes, that's how you guys took gas. You're thinking just like the railroad guy. <laughs> oh, it's a pressure. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It Come does. on, we need million it, pounds of when you, steam. When you boom. give her a gas, what happens is the jets let in more fuel. More fuel, more air. That's why you go faster. But if you just have fumes, nothing there. Okay, now look at your catalyst chart, okay? Yeah. And then no talk, fumes, talk no. to me. Catalyst. Good, maybe good for idling, hey. but not for... Yeah, what do they got for a catalyst? They got the oxygen that they always get. Yeah. We're adding more oxygen. My idea is way better. Little two-cylinder engine, generator. Turning a generator to the electric motor. Yeah, but you got to make it That's quiet. It. It's too noisy, oh, those little those... guys. They go, hey, all the time. When a big hey, engine goes, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you know? No, no, the yeah. big engine like this is uh, just idling. Boom, 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 I know, boom, I was boom. thinking, I ever did, like, under the sun, but you know, it all comes down Why can't to... you get this thing to run at low RPM? Oh, uh, well, it does, but it don't like low RPM because you don't have, you know, our horsepower. No. Yeah, low RPM, no horsepower. No yeah, horsepower, well. no moving the motor home. Uh, no. 2,800 RPM. 10 miles an hour wind, stop. Yeah, <laughs> if it's not doing 2,800 RPM, yeah. it doesn't put out the torque. Yeah, and yeah. then it's hard on the tranny, eh? Cause, uh, tranny? Yeah, it's Why? hard on the tranny because Why? you're putting a load on the tranny now, eh? See, that's what it, RPM, you need uh, power, you need that torque to get uh, to work the tranny. Otherwise, the tranny's doing all the work. See, the tranny needs that fluid to get going, you know, to make it go. Just like when you come to a light, you, you must stop. be a railroad guy, because you think no, just no. like a railroad guy. No, no, All no. that steam is coming out of here. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I've tried, I've thought of things. The only thing is somebody can come up with a different fuel, these fucking gasoline stations and bastards. I know. You know how the hell Look is it? it. How is it you know the price what? of oil I'm, goes up? I'm scared because if, if yeah. w when the light comes on, yeah. you are going to go nuts. And then what am I going to do with you if no. you go nuts? No, no, no. Maybe it's good that you're like this. Oh, fuck, I hate because the gas Because then you get like the this. whole story out. Get the whole story yeah. out. Yeah. It doesn't need to be like this with the gas well, prices, you know that? We should, uh, we should be paying no problem 60 cents a liter. That's what we should be paying. We don't know how to pump it. We're stupid. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's the fucking government. Yeah, but we... We've we've stopped the technology on our fuel. Why did we stop? Because you know why? You're gonna step on a lot of toes. Oh, see, all Aha! those millionaires. You do all know. Those, see, oh yeah, you know. all those millionaires you aren't know. gonna make money no more. Well, this is the first time. Oh. We're going to lose jobs. We're going to lose jobs. Look, all the people in the oil industry, the shipping industry, the, the trains, the, the, trains, the, oh, the oh, repercussion oh. and all that. And then the unions. Oh, yeah. The unions. <laughs> there it is. It all is like, it's all falling like a house of cards now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be all out of work. We'll all be delivering newspapers yeah, and yeah, mail and yeah, yeah, that's shaving our heads. So and let me have a Wave look at the guy. Wave. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah. He's wondering what these two guys are doing in a motorhome yeah, yeah. <laughs> in a snowstorm yeah. with the I heater going here. you look like you're going to go down on my 455 yeah. so back bolt see this here yeah yeah so, we're adjust. so you gotta take this bolt off you gotta take this bolt here yeah yeah that's loosen loose that, that's, that's loose. loose yeah yeah loosen this one okay and let's see well you gotta loosen this one See, this is the one right here. So this one here has got to be loosened because that's going to go. Are you sure it. that's not just a hose clamp? No. I looked at that Slava Bowl yeah. hose clamp drush. No, that's, that's mounted right into your, uh, that's mounted right onto the, onto the pump. Okay, belt. Okay, this one here. 
Yep. That's got to be loosened. Yep. That one there, because that's the bracket is mounted right on here. Okay, so eh? what's that? Nine sixteenths or half inch or or mm. what? What do you what do you be forgot there? What do you got there? Half inch? Huh? Let's do this one. It is. Yeah. half half b inch. Yep. Inch, yeah. And you know, I took the first bolt off that uh, water pump. Yeah. And it's the original one. It's got, oh, look, the paint, the factory paint is still on the top. Yeah. It's been covered in grease most of its life. That's why it's not rusty. Holy but look, look at the, look at the rust on the thread. Yeah. You see that, look? Yeah, yeah. So you need to get rid of all your uh, rad hoses here. Ay, ay, ay. Well, not that one, but, yeah. And that's it, and then the bottom rad hose. Have you drained your antifreeze? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta look at the bottom any one, yeah. And and the drain and the power steering pump has gotta come off because you've got the bolt in behind it, the nut. Ay ay. See right here? Like there's another nut there. Ay ay ay. Yeah. So I gotta you gotta take the power steering pump off. Okay, so should I still disconnect the right terminal on the the engine battery? Well, I don't know what for unless Exactly. Yeah, that's what I was taking, thinking. Let's see, I'm looking right now. Is that Alternator mounted on that, yeah, it's mounted on that power steering pump, so you're gonna have to take the alternator off, too. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, I've had that, I installed that alternator. See, right down there is a bolt that's attached right to the, to the alternator. That's right it, there. turn the lights on so that... Oh, no, it isn't. Well, look at that. Yeah, Slava like, Bohu. Yeah, so you might not, yeah, you might get away with that. Slava Bohu Choinky Poinkin, yeah? But you're gonna have to take the power steering pump off because there's the extra nuts in behind it, eh? Okay. They're a stud. They're a stud with a. They gotta come out. Yeah. So that's gonna come out. You gotta take your rad hoses all off. Uh, once you get your, your heater hose off here, then you don't have to worry about too much about that fuel line because the fuel line is, it won't be in the way. How come there's a return hose on that pump? Does that mean that I could uh, which pump? See the fuel pump? There's a there's two hoses on it. Oh. You see that? So I can use that return. I want to send that return back to that, the tank. That return that's blocked off right now. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. That used to go to a canister. Did you know you? for fumes. You know where it goes in for. Oh, that, was yeah. that, that was that. That was that. Well, that, California emission shit. That's eh? only that's for fumes. That's not yeah. for liquid. No, that's only for fumes. Oh. It goes into a canister. You know oh, the canister, yeah. and then the canister returns, comes back to the intake manifold, eh? Well, okay, that's fine. What I want to do is I want to put a I want to put a tap on this line, oh. so that when I turn it, the fuel goes back to the tank. So I want to shut off the gas. Why? Why? Because then I'm going to open up a little slide door that's going to let the air from the, the gas tank to come in. And I'm going to put an air cleaner on the intake of the gas tank. And I'm going to warm the gas with a heater core. Panyamayish? Rosameo? Yeah, but you want the gas to be cold. That's no, 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 no. You'll produce more fume when you warm it up. Believe me, I've been studying this for yeah. 25 years. Yeah, but when you get more fumes, yeah, yeah, then sure. it won't run. Oh, stop it. Yeah. You, you're talking like a railroad guy and again. And you know what? Here we go. Steve, yeah, 10,000 pounds. More steam. Chunky, chunky, pointy. More fumes? Yeah. Means burnt valves. Burnt valves and holes in the piston. Yeah, okay, because I know. Because it, it makes it too lean. Eh? That's what they used to say. That's still true, though. But it's true. There's three types of fume yeah. now. Yeah. Hot, right? Yeah. Medium good. and cool. And don't forget, I'm still running my hydrogen coming in, you know, from the front. That's still coming in. It's yeah. just that all the atmosphere that the engine is going to draw upon is going to be coming straight from the tank, nowhere else. And it's going to be sucking on the air on that tank and creating bubbles. And the bubbles create more fume. Now the problem with not warming the gas 
is that it gets so cold in there, it turns into a deep freeze, which is another technology waste that we're doing right now. We could be using our gas tanks as our air conditioning radiators. You know, can, you know what I'm saying? Our cooling fans? Oh, air conditioning pump has got to come on. No, no, no. Oh, what, yeah, Shaw? Yeah, yeah, because the bracket here is right on it. Yep. And you've got to get at that bolt in behind. See this bracket here? See this bracket right here? See this bracket? This is part. This bracket right here is all part of the power uh, air conditioning. And right in behind it is a stud with another nut in there, okay? So well, this I mean, has to be taken off well, to get at that nut. I mean, it'll still hang there, right? No. no. Well, what the heck are you going to just... Yeah, you got to take that off. Let's just, let's just have a look here. Can't you just loosen it? No. And see, do you see what I'm saying? There's a st This is a stud, okay? Okay, yeah, but the thing is, it can be loosened, right? But it's still, the air conditioning pump is going to be pulled forward to get over that, to get this, hey? Right here, you got still got to come ahead. No wonder Jim Bounds didn't phone me back. I left a message. I said, Jim, I'm working on the water pump. Give me a call. Yeah, yeah right. That's why he didn't yeah. call. Yeah. <laughs> He's probably going, Yay, caramba, he yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. Ay, 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 slava no. bohu. Big job here. Oi, choinky poink. Okay, well, I can. I can do it yeah, one I'm part of it. Right it's going to take me five days to do it. I can yeah, feel it. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, for, you know what I would do? Get rid of all these hoses so everything's out of your way. Because right now a lot of stuff is in the way here. Yeah, yeah. It's easier to take a hose off. Take the hoses out. Yeah. Get rid of these hoses now. You know, like just move them out of the way. Yeah. Undo them. So yeah. then you got cure. And you're going to see there's a bolt there. There's a... A slava bolt. There's a bolt right here. Look, you know what? Sure. Now let's see here. Is that part of that bracket now? Nope. But you can, you can leave this one, but unbolt it here. So take that apart. This okay. is gonna. This okay. Is what's gotta, what's next bolt for me? What show me the next bolt? Okay. This one here. You're gonna take this off. Okay. You're gonna take this off. Right here. You, okay. I want you to take this one off. You could probably leave this one, but take this one off, and then there's one right down at the bottom here. You're gonna have to take that one off down at the bottom right down there at the bottom right there it's right on the bracket going the wrong way here yeah, you can just see it there's one right there at the bottom there you're gonna have to take that one off sir oh there he is yeah what right are you there. pointing at that not the nut but the bolt oh. see the bolt right there can you, look right at there. The, can you see it on the, pic, in the picture? Whoop. Uh, oh. It's just above the light right there. That one. There's a nut behind it, but you want that bolt right there. Five eighths? I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure. Or half? Half? Yeah, yeah it's going to be the same. have been using a lot of halves. Yeah. Because you need to take that air conditioning pump and slide it all ahead so you can get off that bracket. Okay. And then you can just let it hang. Just let it just ha let it hang there. Okay. What's the next bolt? Show me which again. Which Take one? this one off. Okay. Let okay. Let us uh -huh. get okay. That one. Then this one. All right. Okay. And then that one at the bottom there. And I'm um, hopefully there is not another one in the front, but I can't see it. I want to be able to loosen off that belt pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. And then like I said, if I.